It sure does. And you know what? This is a world-class art festival. More than 1,000 people apply to come and show off their work, but only about 140 are able to come here. And if you come, even though it is exclusive, you are going to find some very, a wide, varied a display of art. I'm joined now by Brian Sullivan, and this is a look at some of his work. You got the classic paintings. We have an oil painting, but as Brian is going to tell us, you also have unusual media here at the fair. Tell me about your work here. Um, good morning, Kim. Uh, this one is, <clears throat> excuse me, a collage of all kinds of different photographs that I've taken uh, throughout the years, old Americana that I've collected. I. Uh, take the different pieces and then I actually melt them into the canvas. So it's a technique I've developed. You'll never see this anywhere else. This isn't reproduction. This isn't computer printed. This is all done by hand. Each of these pieces take about three months to do um, and they're all unique. What do you want to say to people who are thinking about coming out to the fair today to see your work? Um, there's all kinds of price ranges, very affordable and you're going to see all kinds of things that you can't see anywhere else. And artists from all over the country. You're not from Metro Detroit. That's right. I'm from Champaign, Illinois. There's people from Florida, um, all 50 states. And also I'm joined by Inti Munala from Wald Lake this morning and he also has a very unique type of art. Tell me about what you do. Hello, uh, yes, um, I made the paintings but I, I have the texture with the cornflower. I made with a texture and I made the paintings also with different plants, different minerals. Uh, all my paintings have the different symbols uh, with the, my culture as uh, I am from Kichwa Nation. But, uh, it's beautiful work. Thank you so much for coming out to show it to us. Now I want to tell you that this is the fourth best art fair in the nation. And as you can see, there's a wide variety of stuff that you're going to find at this show. It was voted the fourth best by the Art Fair source book. The art fair will be located in the southern portion of the festival. So if you want to find it, you want to go there, check it out. Maybe do that while it's still light out. If you want to check out the music at 8 p.m. tonight, we have Mayor Hawthorne in the county. They're going to be providing some soul music. And at 10, we have G Love and the special sauce. Speaking of special sauce, plenty of food. There's going to be more than 50 food providers providing a wide variety of food, anything that you can imagine. We have cultural food, we have barbecue. As a matter of fact, there's Barbecue Alley, a very popular part of the fair. So if you're hungry, if you like art, if you like music, come on out to the art fair. If you get here after 5 o'clock, it's $5 to get in. If you get here before, it's free. It's going to be a great time in downtown Royal Oak. Reporting live, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.